the bringing together of single mothers, widows, young girls by the team of Dr. Aquel Lois International Humanitarian Foundation on the 29th of August 2020 at the Presbyterian Church Loom of the littoral region in Cameroon was not for a courtesy visit or sightseeing, but to empower them so that they can be financially independent. Humanitarian Foundation, uh, this is a very great day for us because our main objective is to impact life. We have come to this uh, refuge town of uh, Cameroon called Loom to impact the life of some widows uh, and some life of some single mothers where we are training them how to do some different activities. I'm hosting the Lois Foundation initiative to uh, enable the people cope with the situation they are going through. And so I think it's a laudable initiative and the people will live to remember. And we thank God for it all and pray that uh, more avenues will be created for not only the people here but other displaced and uh, frustrated people will find solace in such a adventure. training session at the Cotteran Church gains transformation knowledge on using the cash crops like cocoa to make consuming items that can help increase their income. I've learned a lot today. From what I've learned, I've learned a lot. Like uh, We are agriculturists, we cultivate crops. We don't really know the use of the crops that we produce. So we already know that after production, we take it for consumption or selling. We don't also know that we can still make good use of it. That can also help us in increasing our capital and so and so forth. I first thank God for Dr. No. For Dr. Lois International for this day. is a great day in my life and others. So she has trained us. She has trained us and she has given us the. She has given us an handwork through the handwork. I know that I will not depend again only for government, but I will use the handwork to help my family and others around me. The trainees, after gaining knowledge on how to transform cocoa to chocolates, cocoa to cocoa oil, coconut to coconut oil, carrot to carrot oil, are well prepared to put what they have learned into practice. For example, I've just learned from how we can make, we can use cocoa to produce many other things, such as chocolate and even oil from it. Um, we also have carrots, which we consume normally in food, but we do, we, do not, we do not even know that it's also used for our body. That's like, that is, for example, for oil. That's what I've just learned to do. That we can use carrot to produce oil, which is used for for our body and many other things and also used for health condition. We also, I also learned from, I also learned today on how we can use car, um, coconut to produce oil. Not only oil, I also learned on how the coconut can also be used to heal and also make good use of it to our children and many others. Inside the handwork that I've learned, I, I like to, to use cocoa oil because inside the cocoa oil, it will help me a lot and it will help others a lot. I know that inside the cocoa oil, we have many uh, areas to do in our life. Mm -hmm. And I know that this one will help others to learn this. I've learned many things here. And this knowledge will help me because during this, uh, when the crisis was very tough in the southwest and north, I accumulated many people coming from that area. So today, uh, I, I know that this knowledge will help those people to cope with life. The training organized to help the internally displaced persons, mostly widows, single mothers, young girls, is timely since it has come to give hope to the hopeless and the half nots. I want to thank the Lois, Dr. Ekwe Lois Foundation for this great mission and the vision they have for us as the IDPs. I don't know how to express my joy, but I give God the glory 
that they have concern for us and the love for us that we can start something for our own self that should not be idle i pray that god will continue to promote their ministry that god will touch them in a special way thank god for what i've observed because i believe that as i'm living here today i'll develop myself and even my family i'll benefit i have benefit many things here today so i'm so grateful for those who organize this program god should bless them and help them to go more to many other places so that many of us in the displaced, internally displaced, should have what to do because they have given us what to do, what we never hoped that we we'll had all those things. We thank God for them. We are so happy. I thank Doctor for everything that he has teach me today. I am more blessed. I pray that God will give you people more blessings and you people will go ahead to bless everybody who needs, who is in need. So I am more blessed. I don't have more to say. I say God will bless people, you people, and bless and bless. You people will continue with this work all over Cameroon. The trainees who never left the training ground disappointed were more shocked when startup envelopes were handed to them. The financial packages will be a springboard to their independence. I'm going to impact my family through this envelope that I'm going to put it into practice by investing what I've learned today. I'm going to have the product and I'll start producing the same thing I've learned today. Then from that I'll impact my family. And if you acquire something, you need to put it up in work. Yeah, I will not bury my talent. Honestly, this has been my desire. I came here to like learn a trait or something to do with my hand. So when I got the information, I was so like, hey, my dream has come to, at least I'm real, I want to realize my, my dream, because it has been my dream. And so with this in mind, I was so like, I said, long live the foundation. So it's a great joy. I'm really filled with joy. And I promise that with the help of God, that I'm going to do something. Yeah, because... I was looking for opportunity like this, so I'll put it at work from here, by God's grace. Okay. So long live Dr. Equest Foundation and more blessings and more endeavors. The selfless trainees and those who receive gifts did not fail to invoke the blessings of the Almighty God to the CEO, Dr. Equel Lois, as well as urging her to extend the right hand of fellowship to others in need. Basic items like rice, soap, were also handed to the internally displaced persons. With the CBC, serving in Loop First Baptist Church. For what I have seen today, I must confess I'm very, very delighted. And I'm very impressed and I thank God for the Lois Foundation. This is a timely intervention. It is something that the church ought to be doing. But on the other hand, it is unfortunate that the church cannot really do it. Because on the other hand, the church sometimes is like vulnerable. Because the church has other responsibility to cater for. Looking at the situation at hand, the Lois Foundation is coming, especially in Loom, which is a town in the Mongo Division. Because of the current crisis in Cameroon, we discovered that the Mongo Division is more protected with the IDPs. Sometimes, time and again, as a church, as a church, we are struggle to see how we can try to even give these people just a daily bread. But the question remains, how often can we do that? You give somebody food today, and tomorrow they cannot do it. And that person is still demanding. And we believe in the Chinese program that says it's better to teach somebody how to catch a fish than to give that person a fish. And so I want to thank this foundation for coming to teach these people not to give them fish, but to teach them how to fish. And I believe that it will go a long way to solve a lot of problems, but even to sustain the children on the other hand. Because these people, when they have something to do for themselves, they will no sooner be demanding, but they will do something for themselves and even support other people who are also demanding. We very much appreciate her and pray God for her that uh, she makes more breakthrough. She should not relent. Actually, it is uh, the recipients to 
praise her and not she herself. So by any means, uh, we thank God for her and pray that she continues and makes more good things. With, uh, this people. So we thank God so much with uh, the okay, Praise Foundation. And we, talk, we thank anyone who is supporting the foundation. And we are only pleading that this initiative will continue. Mm. It should not stop at this level. Mm -hmm. And we will try to be expanded in other areas. Areas like uh, uh, Melon, uh, you see where we have many, many identities. Mm -hmm. So Melon, Konsamba, Banga. Banga because many of them they are there. Uh, and uh, I want to tell you that uh, this initiative must be supported by any person who has a good will. Right? Mm -hmm. A lot of certificates wrap up their one day training session. No, you will join this line. Yes. No matter how you will join the line. Hold it, your envelope. Remove your note. Only these people and the clergy. Yeah, yeah. I'm not more.